What's up everyone, GTA King here back in our GTA 5 video. This is the steel working MOC car define glitch. Does it give cars define glitch right now on the channel step by step? Go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications as always. And this is the car we'll be receiving today. Hey, for the glitch out that my friend will be passing me. What you'll need to do this glitch will be a casino penthouse. You will need a, a helicopter on this list inside the casino. I will show you. You you will need to own one of these before doing the glitch. So you just want to go inside the casino. Go. And once you get inside the casino, I'll show you what you will need to own so when you go inside if you go up to Tom Connors here and you press around the D-pad and scroll down to aircrafts as long as you own one of these aircrafts you will be good to go you will also need to own a MOC with personal vehicle storage in bay 3 of the MOC, so you just can go to more stock and carry, go to mobile operations center, purchase one. You can only purchase one if you have a bunker, and you just want to make sure in bay three you have personal vehicle storage. Search. Also, you will need a free elegy or any car in there that you don't mind losing. I really always use a free elegy. But you can use any car in the game as long as you don't mind losing it. So what you want to do is make your way inside the casino penthouse. And I'm going to tell you some game settings that you will need once you get inside of there. So I'm going to go inside the penthouse. inside my penthouse I want to go to my settings and I want to make sure my display is on fidelity so you can get your pause menu go to settings and you want to go down to display and you want your graphic mode set to fidelity while you're also in the pause menu I'll make your way over to my online tab and you want to go down to options and you want to set your matchmaking to closed and you want to allow spectators to off and join next mode from spectator box to don't join so next mode so join next mode from spectator box to don't join allow spectators to off and matchmaking set to closed now you will need a friend to sign your session that is showing online to go in to tighten the job while you're waiting for them to go inside and tighten. You just want to be standing by this phone and you want the option in the upper left hand corner to press around the pad to pick up the phone. Once they're in tightening the job, you can join them through the pause menu or you can have them send me a game invite but my friend's going to send me a game invite once he's in tight in the job. So I'm gonna accept his invite and when I'm on the first alert he's just gonna back out and let me know when he backs out. So we're just waiting for him to back out now. Once he backs out, he'll let us know. We'll be ready to continue on with this glitch. So now that he's out, we're going to press Ryan D pad and A at the same time. Both of you on PlayStation, you're going to press Ryan D pad and X at the same time. We get unable to connect, 
you're gonna press A on Xbox, X on PlayStation, and when your character goes back down, you're up in the Rackets menu as your character's picking up the phone, and you'll get this glitched out menu where you have both menus, the Interactive menu and the Penthouse phone menu. You just want to scroll up and down the menu until you only have the interactions menu. Now, if you don't do this too many times, it will take longer. As you see, it did not take me so long. I already have me the interactions menu. I'm walking away. I'm going to close the interactions menu. I'm going to go up to the door. You're going to hit casino. Walk away. Go back to the door and hit exit penthouse. Once you're outside, you want to go into the interactions menu, you want to go services, mobile operations center, request your mobile operations center. And then you want to go back to the interactions menu, go to services, and you want to go to mobile operations center and request the personal vehicle that's in the back of it. Once they're both out on the map, and they're not blinking, you're good to walk inside the casino. Now when you walk in, if you fall to the map, you're good. If you load inside the casino, you're good. But if you get stuck on an infinite black screen, you will have to restart your game and redo the method over again. So we load it inside. So we're going to go up to Tom Connors. We're going to press my D-pad. Go on the aircraft, request for our aircraft, and land outside. Now, the very important thing is if you do crash this thing and die, you will. No longer be OTR, but right now we are OTR. So we did hit it to glitch out very successfully. But we just want to land nice and safely without crashing or dying. So I do advise you it's not a good idea to jump out unless you know you guarantee you have a parachute. And you know how to open up the parachute in time so you can parachute to the ground so you won't die. So now from here, I just want to get inside of my personal vehicle, and my friend wants to drive the NRC, so I'm just going to get inside my free LG that's out on the map, and my friend is going to get inside my MOC, and we're going to head to the strip club. So I'm just going to find out where my free LG is at, and I'm going to get inside of it, and I'm going to drive it. Now I... It doesn't matter who drives what, but I'm just going to drive my LG, and he's going to drive the MOC. But you can do either or. You don't have to do it the way we're doing it. Just as long as you get both of them to the strip club. The car you're losing, and the mobile operations center. Now also guys, I'm going to show y'all in this a way where I can proceed the car without leaving the game or having to switch sessions. And I'm about to show y'all all that right here because there's two ways you can do this. There's a way where you will have to restart your game and then join back. And there's a way where you don't have to restart your game where you can stay in the same lobby. You're going to do the method that I'm about to do right here. You just want to make sure your jobs are turned on the map before you went OTR. So you just went to map blimp options inside your interactions menu and set all your jobs to show. So I'm going to show y'all a method where you don't have to leave the session none whatsoever. 
that your friend just wants to pull your MOC up where the blue dot is right here between the two poles just like so so that's where you want it so he's good to go from there he just wants to get his personal vehicle and have it sitting over here and then he wants to request his MOC and go stand inside of it because he's gonna have to send us an invite to it when we're ready and then he's gonna have to do a couple other things after he sends us that MOC invite so we don't have to leave the lobby so we're going to go ahead and park our car up against this pole where we're going to block the driver door. But like I said guys, we're going to do this where we don't have to leave the lobby or restart our game. So just about right there guys, you just want to make it to where you don't have to. When you can't get out on the driver door, if you was to press Y to exit the car. So we press Y on D-pad one time. Now you're going to this glitched out screen. Now you can keep pressing Y to your character if you get out of the car. Or you can keep pressing up on your D-pad until you're able to pull up the phone in the game. Once you're able to do either or, you're good to go with the next part. From here, you can start a job inside your phone. So if you have a job from Simeon, Gerald, whoever, you can start one up. If not, just open up your pause menu, go inside, type in a job, and then back out. So I do have a Gerald job. I'm just going to go inside of it, and I'm going to back out. From there, I just want to make my way over here to this job that is on the map, so it's not far from the strip club. So it's right right here guys, I'll show y'all. We are OTR, so it's like right here where the strip club is, there is a job. But it's right here where we're at, so now we just need an invite to our friends MOC. So we're just waiting for our invite to MOC. But this is how we're going to do it where we don't have to leave the lobby. Normally right now we would get in our friend's car and we would accept the invite to MOC and then we have to restart our game. But we're doing it where we do not have to restart our game at all. So we're just waiting on the MOC invite. So we're gonna pull up our, our friends gonna stay inside his MOC now. Now we got his invite. We're gonna pull up the invite. And as we accept the invite, we're gonna be spamming right on D-pad. So we're gonna be we're pressing A on Xbox to accept the invite. And X on PlayStation, we're gonna be spamming right on D-pad. And if you hit it right, you'll load inside the job menu. Just like so. And then you're back out. Once you do that, your friend's going to walk out of his MOC. Then he's going to get inside of his car. And then bring it over to the strip club. Because his car is going to keep teleporting all over the map right now for you. So you can't get inside of it. He has to bring it to you. And as you're getting inside of it, He's going to exit the car. So as you're going to reach for the handle to enter the car, that's when he's going to be pressing Y to exit the car. So he's just going to go and get inside. His car and bring it over here to the strip club. I'm just waiting for him to pull up with it. So 
just waiting for them to pull into the strip club with the uh, car. Nowadays here, on the count of three, I'm going to be entering the vehicle and he's going to be exiting the car. So when I get down to three and I'm pressing Y, he wants to get in the car, he wants to exit his car. So in three, two, one, so he wants to be able to get out of the car and now it sucks me in the back of my MOC and I'm still in his lobby. Now I'm stuck in the back of my MOC, so to get me out of my MOC, he just wants to send me an invite to his MLC. So he just wants to send me an invite. And notice how I did not get the infinite black screen and I did not have to restart my game. And I already received the car. The car is mine. He did not lose it. And I'm going to show you that he still has the car. And I have the car as well. But we're just waiting on his MOC invite. So we can get out of our MOC. So I'm just going to take this MLC invite and then we're going to walk out on foot and I'm going to request the car out and he's going to request his car out and we're going to show you that he still has the car and I have it as well. So we're just going to walk out on foot from his MLC. Now before I can call it the car or from the back of my MOC, I do have to make my way over to the strip club and I do have to blow up my free elegy, the card I used to get rid of because the game still think it's my car but technically it's not so it thinks I still has a vehicle out on the map even though I do not but I'm no longer OTR so I'm just gonna hop in my friend's car real quick he's gonna give us a ride over to the strip club and then I'm gonna blow up my free LRG that the game still thinks that's mine and then I'm gonna call out the car so we didn't get lucky and the free LRG did disappear but normally it does stay but not all the time so sometimes when y'all do this method, guys, you will have to blow up your free LRG that you used to get rid of. It will still be out here on the map, but I'm going to go ahead and request out the car from the back of my MOC. But we did get lucky this time where we don't have to do that. So as you see, I have the car and so does my friend. He did not lose it. It just made an exact copy. If you find this glitch very successful, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys inside the next video. Peace out.